Hi guys, welcome to another FIFA 22 player review. And today, guys, we're going to be reviewing the team of the group stage. Uh, Saeed Ben Rama from West Ham, of course. Uh, West Ham having a fantastic Europa League uh, campaign. I think the guarantees are actually finished top of their group. And of course, Ben Rama hasn't just been, he's been obviously very good in the Europa League, but also even for West Ham in the Premier League so far this season. And a uh, nice increase, I think, of like eight ratings from his 77 rated base cards. Uh, some very nice increases on his uh, stats. And uh, he's a card that currently goes for around about 60,000 coins on Xbox. I'm guessing a similar price on PlayStation as well. Three games, one goal, and one assist with this card. Was so unlucky not to get me any more than one assist in those uh, in those three matches. Um, I provided so many chances, in particular to Bergwijn. And um, and the two-star we fought on Bergwijn was just letting them down so much. But easily, on another day, with better finishing for my front three, this card has three or four assists in, in the three matches, literally. Uh, I thought his passing was absolutely class in game. Unfortunately, I don't have the in-game stats available in front of me. But uh, 83 overall passing, I'm guessing his vision and his short passing would obviously stand out in that point. So, you know, even just having the basic hands that apply to him, uh, those stats are further increased. And also, you have to take into account that I was using him as a centre midfielder in my full main team as a proper out-and-out -out camp. Yeah, he would have even been providing even more chances because he would have been slightly pushed even further up the field. But uh, his pace is pretty nice as well. His dribbling is fantastic. Uh, he's a really, really fun card you know, to be able to use. And, and it's a card that I think, again, will probably go down slightly in price. He's already at 60,000 coins. He, he'll go to 50 or 40,000 coins uh, on both consoles, especially with the fact that he's, he's a card that he can't upgrade. You know, uh, it'd be really, really cool if this card maybe... I'm not saying that the team of the group stage card should be able to get upgraded, but, you know, if he was a part of, like, now the road to the final from, like, you know, for the knockouts or whatever come February, then it'd be fantastic as a card to get upgraded because you'd fancy West Ham to go far or whatever. It's a card that, yeah, sadly, uh, won't get any more upgrades. So it, its shelf life isn't going to be, like, months in advance. But certainly for now, and even to, like, team of the year and stuff like that, he's going to be a, a solid, you know, player to be able to go for. Probably very similar to, like, a Kevin De Bruyne or a Bruno Fernandes, like, their gold versions and stuff like that as well. But I think Ben Rahm, despite being a few ratings, though, is a little bit cooler in the fact that he's a special card and stuff like that. And uh, probably plays better in game than an 85 rated card. Uh, I, I actually think he was... For what he goes from the market, he's, he's very, very good value for money. Uh, and I think he'll probably get even better value for money. I'd be surprised if he uh, rose any more in price now over the next week that he's going to be in packs for. If anything, he's going to go down and be even more affordable. Uh, and I think it's a nice budget Premier League camp for your teams. So you can't really go too wrong with this car. But anyway, guys, that will finish off this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.